In this video, we are going to cover the design of Go and no Go gauges. So basically, gauging devices are two types. One is called as plug gauge, and other is called as ring gauge. The plug gauge is normally used to measure the holes or bores. Determine if they are within the specific tolerance limit. We are not actually measuring. We are just checking whether the hole is of same size or of undersize or either oversize. So with the help of no go, we can check oversize. And with the help of go, we can check for undersize. So we have one member is called as go member. And one member is not go member. So suppose we have a hole here. So this one is disc like structure. There is a material available here. So we have ID and we have OD. And we want to check the hole. For this one, this part represents the go part. And slightly larger than that will be represents no gauge part. And both parts are connected with the help of handle. So this part is called as go part. And this one is called as no go part. So when we are measuring this hole continuously with the same gauge. Since the go part is continuously inserting inside the hole. And no go will never pass. So some wear will take place on the go part. So while designing the go part we must consider the wear allowance. As such no go will never enter into the hole. So wear will never take place on the no go part. But go part will always have some wear. So in the numerical if he has given the wear allowance then consider it. Otherwise you can neglect it for finding the dimensions. So this part is called as wear part occurs normally on go side for plug gauges. Method is like this. First of all you calculate the work tolerance that is the hole tolerance. Take 10% of it that will be the gauge tolerance and then take another 10% of gauge tolerance will be equal to wear tolerance. Otherwise the percentage of wear is normally given to you. Other type of gauges are called as ring gauges. These are normally used to measure the dimensions of a shaft whether the shafts are within the specified limit or not. So here also the go part will go inside the shaft and the wear will always occur on the go part. So whether we have a ring gauge or plug gauge, wear is always going to occur on the go side. So the go part has a wear in the ring as well as the go part for the plug gauge is also has wear. So wear resistance is only provided for go part. Let's consider here how we calculate this. First of all consider the whole higher hole limit and the lower hole limit for plug gauges. So this part will be the go side. L stands for lower limit, H stands for higher limit. So this one is a tolerance that is called as work tolerance or called as hole tolerance. So let's say this tolerance equals to 50 micron and basic size is 25. So 25 plus 20, 50 micron is permissible value. So we have maximum size is 25.05 and minimum size is 25. So hole tolerance is totally 50 micron. The hole tolerance itself is called as work tolerance. Once we know the value of work tolerance, then you can calculate gauge tolerance, which is normally taken as 10% of work tolerance. So out of 50 micron, 10 micron will be 5 micron will be the tolerances for gauge. That is go side and no go side. That will be small height of rectangles as shown in the figure. So this is 50 micron. 10% of this one is 5 micron is a gauge tolerance and 5 micron is a gauge tolerance for no go side. Now in the problem if he has given the wear allowance. Now wear allowance in the case of plug gauge is normally given to the go side only. So this side is wear allowance which was again taken as 10%. So it's a very very small value as compared to the work tolerance. But in the problem it is given then you do consider it is coming out to be 0.5 micron which is very very small value and from the basic size you can calculate higher limit and lower limit of go and from higher limit you can calculate the higher limit and lower limit of no go. We will just get this idea very clear once we will do the numerical. So it is 25.005 lower limit of go gauge and the second size is 25.0055. So these are the go sides. Whereas for no go, you can calculate from 25.05 subtracting the 5 micron. So higher limit for no go is 25.05. Higher limit is 25.05 minus 5 micron. So that is 25.045. So in this fashion, the gauge 
plug gauge are designed for go side and no go side if suppose they are do not give any wear tolerance then our gauge size go side is 25 and 25.005 this time wear allow is not allowed not adjusted but as far as the calculation of no go is there there is no change so in the numerical if we have given the wear then only take it otherwise don't calculate it we have go and no go snap gauge is to be designed to inspect the diameter of a shaft that is 30 plus minus 0.18 mm considering 3% of work tolerance to be wear allowance what is you have to find out normal nominal size of no go so maximum size is 30.18 minimum size is 29.82 so this represents the tolerance for the hole and the tolerance of zone can be obtained by subtracting higher value and lower value difference so 30.18 minus 29.82 so this tolerance is 0.36 mm so 0.36 mm we are getting as 30.18 minus 29.82 and this time you have to use the snap gauge so you have to interchange the go and no go for measurement of a shaft and the wear will take place only on gauge go side since you have to design the no go no go will be lower part and no go does not have any type of wear so we'll start with no go this one is go and this one is no go since only the go side will go to the wear no go doesn't have any type of wear so wear allowance you have to provide that is 3% of 0.36 so the wear allowance is given for the go, go part and no wear is given to the no go so height of rectangle is same as work gauge tolerance this one is wear tolerance or wear allowance this one is gauge tolerance height of rectangle this one is also gauge tolerance gauge tolerance you can take as 10 percent of work tolerance so the lower size is same as 29.82 since the gauge tolerance is 10 percent of 0.36 is 0 0.036 mm so the nominal size of the no go will be 29.82 plus 0 0.036 that equal to 29.856 mm and the lower size is 29.82 so you have to give the answer as 29.82 in this question we have given a hole of 40 plus 0.2 minus 0.3 mm is produced by drilling operation and we have to only check the hole size what will be size for go and no go plug gauges respectively are so first of all we will go for hole tolerance the hole is varying from 40.2 to 40 minus 0.3 so maximum size is 40.2 and the minimum size is 40 minus 0.3 is 39.7 mm the height of rectangle represents the work tolerance is 40.2 minus 39.7 is 0.5 mm so we have fixed up the upper and lower limit for gauges in the problem wear is not given so it's a straightforward problem so we will not going to consider the wear allowance we will only consider the gauge allowance which will take as 10% of work tolerance so we have gauge tolerance equals to 0.1 of work tolerance so it is 0.1 multiplied by 0.5 that equal to 0 0.05 mm so this is also 0 0.05 mm so this is 39.7 this is 39.75 this is 40.2 and this is 40.2 minus 0 0.05 is 40.15 so you have to mark the close answer according to the given size so only two values are matched one is 39.7 and 40.2 for choice b a go no go gauge is to be designed for nominal diameter of 25 and hole diameter of plus minus 0 0.015 so we have maximum size is of 25.015 and minimum size is 24.085 so we have work tolerance is 25.015 minus 24.985 so tolerance is 30 micron 0 0.03 mm considering 10 percent of work tolerance so this one is work tolerance to be the gauge tolerance and no wear condition so this one is a gauge tolerance 10 percent each 10 percent of 3, 30 micron is 3 micron or 10 percent of 0.03 is 0 0.003 mm this one is gauge tolerance this is also gauge tolerance we are, we are designing for plug gauge we are interested in go side this one is go and this one is no go side for plug gauge we want to find out 
the go plug gauge dimensions so we have minimum dimension is 24.985 plus 24.988 if you see the choice d we'll get 24.985 plus 0 0.003 plus 0 0.000 so choice d is correct choice this one is match the pair and we have to match with the group and the group b and we are given 25 s7 ga 25 is the basic size h is the fundal deviation for hole tolerance it8 is the tolerance for shaft it7 is the tolerance for hole and g is the fundamental deviation for shaft it means that p represents 2 r represents 3 q represents 4 and s represents 1 so choice d is correct choice we have a cylindrical pin of 25 plus 0 0.020 25 plus 0 0.010 mm diameter is to be electroplated plating thickness is 2 plus plus 0 0.005 minus 0 0.005 mm Neglecting the gauge tolerance diameter in mm, you want to find out for goring. So pin is modeled as a shaft and thickness is 2 plus 0 0.005 and minus 0 0.005. So what electroplating is? In electroplating, the diameter will going to increase. So maximum thickness that you can apply is 2.005 mm. And minimum thickness that you can apply is 1.995 mm, 2 minus 0.005. The maximum diameter for the pin is possible without plating is 25.02 and minimum is 25.01. We want to go for goring. So we have a shaft. This pin is 25.020 that is maximum diameter and 25.010 is minimum diameter. And we want a maximum thickness of 2.005 and minimum thickness of 1.995. So initially we will go for plating only so the diameter will change based on the minimum thickness and maximum thickness so maximum thickness you can apply is 25.01 plus 2.005 so diameter will become 25.01 plus 2 times of thickness plus 2 into 2.005 that is 29.02 as well as the second one will become 25 plus 2 times into 1.995 is equal to 29. Now since we are discussing the shaft, this will be go and this is no go. Same calculation will do for go side also. We have maximum thickness and we have minimum thickness. So this is 25.02 plus 2 times 2.005 is 29.03. And this dimension will be 25.02 plus 2 times 1.995. So we have 29.01. So if we select 29.03 and 25.02, then automatically your go gauge will satisfy this. So the go size will be 29.03. So if we select 29.03, Automatically 29.01 will also satisfied, but more than that thickness will not be allowed. 